more book please i hear that multiple times a day from my two-year-old i'm going to share with you how i read to her from when she was a newborn to a toddler hi i'm ali i'm a mum of two i've got a two-year-old daughter and a newborn son so from two weeks i've started reading to my son so in the hospital we were given this book baby world and it is a high contrast black and white book so it's got a star and a chook and then a cloud and a fish, palm tree, volcano, dog, bug. So when he's doing tummy time, I have this book open. His sister loves to put it on the dog and the bug. If I've got it on a different page, she'll actually change it to put on that page. So when he's on the floor, lying on his back, on his mat, I'll have that book open. If we're doing tummy time, I'll have the book open as well. Because newborns have really poor vision, they can't actually see colors that well. So that's why a black and white book is something that they can see and visualize. This book was actually a gift from the hospital, so I'm not sure where you buy the book. This book I got from the library, Baby Sees Lines and Dots. There's the high contrast book, black and white, yellow, white and black, more black and white, different patterns definitely check out your local library because this book doesn't last long and they're onto something else so those high contrast books I wouldn't buy too many of them if it was me with my daughter I did a lot of google searches and one of them talked about having a bedtime routine so we started a bedtime routine really early to try and get her used to going to bed to help with sleep and one of the things part of that routine was reading a book when we first started reading books it was just a little book with one image in it like this book here I did get some mixed responses from family members who thought that I was a bit crazy for reading a book to a newborn baby. However, once they saw that she actually started to pay attention to the pages turning um, and looking a bit more at the images, they were really quite blown away. That probably occurred from six weeks where we started to notice that she was paying attention to the images on the page and we continued to read a book before bed and the same before a nap. We made that part of the nap time routine as well. The best books in those early days were board books with, like I said, an image in the page, not too much going on, not too many images in the background but a nice sturdy book that she could grab onto. So board books were definitely the best. And yes, this book is well loved. This is a great little set. So it's Spot's Little Learning Library and in it you get four books, Spot's first words, first colors, first shapes and first numbers. And they're just nice, simple little books. I can still remember how excited it was when we went through her first words book and she was able to say each image. So from when she was probably about three months or so, I started to read story books to her. Board books once again and story books. I'll share with you some of the books that I read to her. Here's one of the books that we read, Where's Mr. Dog? She was given this as a newborn present. So it's Where's Mr. Dog? And it's got felt in it to open and show images. So when we first started reading this, I would literally just say, where's Mrs. Cat? And then we'd, when she was able to, she'd open that, here she is, okay? And then we moved on to pointing out objects in there. So I'd be like, here's the ball, block, spinner. Oh, sorry. So here's a ball, here's a spinner, bringing in a lot more than just reading the story. And then when we'd read the book, I'd ask her, where's the block, where's the ball? The next stage with that, so this same book can be used multiple times, I would describe what we're seeing. So there's a red pram, there's a red felt, there's a black and white cat. Look there, it's whiskers, here it's tail. It's got four legs. Now I wouldn't go through every part of the cat each time, but I just choose something to describe in a little bit more detail each time. One of the reasons I think I came onto this a little bit as well is my daughter would be happy for me to just read book after book after book. She just loves being read to. So I wanted to get her 
involved in the actual storybook as well. So by asking questions, by pointing things out, it made it more interactive. At night time, I tend to still just kind of read to her because it's part of the wind down period. But throughout the day when we're reading, I do like to ask her questions. So from 18 months, when I was reading a book, I would pause and not say a word. This is books that we'd read multiple times and I'd give her the opportunity to say the word that was meant to be there. Especially rhyming books, she found it really quite easy to do and asking lots of questions. So pointing to objects, saying what color is it, describing it in a lot more detail. And if there were birds in the sky, we'd count the birds. I'd say, let's count. And I would count one, two, three, four. I always set the scene before counting by saying, let's count. And then we'd count one, two, three, four. It didn't matter if she joined in. Sometimes she would with the counting, sometimes she wouldn't. But I always set the scene for what was coming. The other thing that I noticed with our counting is if I'd ask how many birds are on the page or the common answer would be two. And two was when across the board. If I asked how many are there, there'd be two. So that was just a developmental phase and now not everything is the number two. <laughs> Another set of great books is these Osborne Touchy Feely books. That's Not My Bunny is the one we've got. It's Tails Too Fluffy. So it's just a great tactile book as well. And there's so many different types so you'd be able to find one that interests your child. And once again, it's got some things in the background. So we've got flowers, we've got a mouse, we've got bees. So it's not just about the rabbit. So the book can really grow with the child. Big ears for a rabbit, whiskers, eyes. Dear Zoo, a really popular book in our house. It was definitely her favorite book when she was one year old, just because you've got those flaps to open and close. So with this book, I actually made a book basket. So getting some animals or some tiles that I had with pictures of animals on them. These ones I bought from Kmart. So I put the lion on the page with the lion and we'd talk about that. And then I actually had them in the basket. And as we were reading through the book, I'd encourage her to get those out. So it's bringing those books to life. And just last week, her favorite book at the moment is Little Blue Chuck. So we had some toys, some farm animals and a barn from the toy library. And we had a blue truck downstairs. And so I set it up on a table and we acted out the book with those items so the car was driving along the road on the book the sheep was in the barn it just brought it to life so from two years more and more i don't say all the words especially if it's a rhyming book so the little blue truck if I say, horn went, Beep. engine, Heard. friendliest, Young. you ever, Heard. well done. And so adding in more and more words, especially those rhyming words, and she loves it. And it's just bringing those books to life. So not just me passively reading to her all the time, but getting her interacting. Rhyming books are really helpful. And then pointing to images. So where's the green sheep? is a book that we've had for over six months and I was just reading it too. I put it away for a month. I do like to rotate books so that they get an added interest when I bring them back again. And I brought this back and the first page is here is the blue sheep. And then the next page I went, here is the, she said red sheep. And then I pointed to the next sheep and she said bath sheep. And we went through most of the book and she could name what each sheep was which was just amazing because like I said, we hadn't read it for a while. Obviously those synapses in her brain had connected in that period and now that she was able to verbalize what she was seeing in that book. And now as part of her bedtime routine as a two-year-old, we read two books and a Bible story. And after we've read that, we keep the light on and she reads some books. So she'll read the little blue truck to her teddy in bed. When I say reading, she'll tell the story of the little blue truck to her teddy in bed. So she'll like blue truck. She'll say the animals because I can hear her from my room. We're going on a bear hunt is another great book because of the repetition. You keep saying, we're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. And that just keeps repeating itself as well as we can't go over it. 
We can't go under it. Oh no, we've got to go through it. So that's what we've done. Thanks for sticking around till the end. Bye.